everyone, my name is Leslie and in today's video we're going to be doing my Amazon favorites. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest since I am an Amazon Prime member. Um, it's like the best thing ever, <laughs> best invention ever. You get your, if you're an Amazon member, you get your um, items in literally two days. So it's super convenient. If you do not like it, it's super easy to return as well. But anyways, if this is your first time watching me, my name is Leslie and I am a lifestyle YouTuber. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a new video. We're just gonna jump right into this video because it might be a little long. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. So let me show you what I got from Amazon. I have so many favorites that I'm not sure where to start, but I'm gonna start with my most favorite. And if you have been following me here, uh, you probably have seen this item that I'm about to show you, but this is the Valentino Ruxtad dupes. This is like the perfect dupe um, shoe and I found it on Amazon. It is by Caitlin Pan. I'm gonna be doing a collab with Caitlin Pan, so I'm super excited, you guys. Stay tuned for that. Uh, more shoes, it's gonna be a shoe haul. But yeah, this is a pair of shoes that I love and they're really affordable. The real Valentinos are like a thousand bucks. And this right here, it only costs $130. So it's super affordable compared to the um, the actual Valentinos. It is not a replica, you guys. It is a duped. And I'm going to have a, um, what's it called? A video where I go more into details of these shoes right here. I'll link it right up here so that you guys can check it out if you're interested. But I'm just going to do a close-up for you guys so you can see the quality of the shoe. It's everything. If you buy this from Amazon, you won't regret it. I will have the links down below for these shoes. And just for reference, um, I am a size 7 and this are a 7 and this are a 7.5. They both fit. Um, but here it is. Here's a close-up, you guys. Stunning shoes. So I am currently filming my patio decor. Uh, that's going to be up really soon. My plan is to have it ready on Monday for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys another item that I purchased from Amazon. And it's going to be in my patio, you guys. This is a home decor item. It's really hot here in San Diego. But I'm going to show you guys my next item. This is what I purchased from Amazon. Right? That's what I said. <laughs> They're stunning, you guys. This is pillow covers. And the price for them, I believe it was like under 15 bucks each. It is just a cover. But it's beautiful, it is perfect for the outdoors, and it's going to go very well with my patio decor, you guys. So stay tuned for that, um, and I'm going to have a link down below for this as well. For everything that I'm going to show you guys, just remember, go to the description box and you can find everything right there. But yeah, you guys, this is my pillowcase. Super adorable, it goes with the whole theme of my backyard. And I just can't wait for you guys to see it. You guys are going to love it. This is another item that I recently purchased. And I was super excited when I found them. I've been obsessing over Lily Lashes. And if you are familiar with makeup and all that stuff, you know that Lily Lashes can be very expensive. A pair of lashes, they can cost you 34 bucks. Mm, with shipping, it comes out to be like 40 something. I purchased like four pairs of them and um, I, I have them there. I use them from time to time when I do my videos. Uh, for me, it's a great investment, but I wanted to try something different. And I went on Amazon and I said, hey, let me see if I can find mink lashes. I found these beautiful lashes. If you're a makeup artist or if you like makeup in general, definitely check them out. I'm going to do a close-up for you guys so you can see how the lash looks. It is extremely beautiful. This is how they look like. And they're real mink. I got three different styles oh you guys are you loving my earrings what do you guys think about my earrings they're from the Nordstrom cells I I did a video for you guys a haul and I'm just loving the earrings they're so cute this other style right here just beautiful and then we have another style so lashes are perfect and they're not as expensive as the Lily Galici ones. I'm gonna show you a Lily Galici one so you can see the difference. Um, to be honest, I don't notice the difference. I tried them both and I think they're both beautiful. Of course, one is name brand and the other one is from Amazon, but it's still good. So I'm gonna do a comparison for you guys so that you get an idea of how they look. For up close and personal. This is my Lily Lashes. And this right here are the ones from Amazon. 
So check out the difference. Amazon, and this is Lily Lashes. And the style, it is Miami. Uh, where's the name of it? And this is how they look like. If you are into photography, if you enjoy photography, and you have no idea where to start, I highly, highly recommend to have a really nice camera, a Canon, basic, a basic Canon, but focus in purchasing a lens for your camera. And this right here, it is a 15 millimeter lens and it's perfect for pictures. A lot of vloggers use it. And this kind of lens is the one that is gonna blur out the back of like, for example, if you're taking a picture of a flower and the background is gonna be very blurry, it's gonna give that blurry effect. So this is the lens that you would be using. And to be honest, I love it. It's so much fun. I love taking pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm always taking pictures. And this is... one of my favorite favorite lens to use um, I wish for filming but to be honest no because the camera would have to be so far away from me that I don't have that much space for me to put the camera far far away this is a very good lens too that I like using for like maybe if I'm filming an object and I want to like add a little clip into my video I sometimes use this lens as well Alright you guys, moving on, since we're talking about camera equipment right now, I'm going to show you a few things that I... You guys, this is my memory case. This is a lifesaver. Inside here, I have all my memories, as you can see. It's a lot of them. And I have purchased all of them on Amazon. And if you are a YouTuber, you know how important it is to have memory cards. And this right here comes in handy. It's very affordable and you are going to use it a lot because I have misplaced memory cards that I honestly I regret so much and when that happened when I lost I believe it was when Lucy was born my niece I lost that memory card and since then I went online and I purchased this because I was like it's never going to happen I'm not going to lose another memory card and this right here holds 12 of them this is something that is very valuable to me if the house was to burn down right now <laughs> this is what I would grab <laughs> because it has a lot of memories not just for my YouTube or my pictures but also I have a lot of memories of the kids Rosa, Diego, Leo and Athena so for me it's, it's something very special if you're into photography or you're planning on doing YouTube videos I highly recommend for you to get memory cards from Amazon and also this case I love taking pictures no secret right <laughs> so a lot of the times what I have to do is wait until I get home plug my SD card into my computer so that I can get the, the picture but with this right here you can actually plug it to your phone and download all your pictures straight through your phone and that way you can post them like right away so this is something that comes in handy you don't have to be a vlogger you don't have to be anything like that to get something like this just if you enjoy uh, photography or pictures and you're taking it with your like really nice camera then you definitely want to try this right here and that's how it pretty much goes I also purchased this USB right here that you plug your memory card in and then you plug it to your computer because sometimes my uh, my MacBook, my laptop, it doesn't want to read my SD cards and I'm not sure why. It happens from time to time so therefore I purchased this and I got two of them. I have a new one right there in front of me and it, it works perfectly like I just plug it to the computer put the SD card and everything just pops up and then I start editing my videos or if I do not want to transfer anything to my phone then then I'll just transfer it to my computer through here let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the items that I'm showing you honestly I have so much from Amazon that I could do like a multiple videos <laughs> so for me it was kind of like hard to pick what I wanted for this video but I'm just showing you guys a little bit of everything I also purchased my flash for my camera from Amazon I recently started to use it I've been having it for quite a while but I didn't use it before um, but I did my kitchen um, decorate with me and I did some DIYs 
So when I was taking the pictures, I was like, hey, let me use my flash because I never use it. And they actually turned out really, really nice. So yeah, if you're into photography, this is something that I recommend as well. And it comes in this little velvety bag so that you can protect it. I want to get a backpack for all my equipment because I do have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of tripods and also um, just lens. And I am looking into getting a camera bag, but as soon as I do, I will let you guys know. Maybe on my next Amazon haul. So if you guys enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments down below, you guys. Um, I have a few more things and then I think we'll be done. Since we love taking a lot of pictures, a lot of the times everything gets very um, slow on our phones and you have to like declutter it, get rid of pictures and if you do not want to delete pictures, I recommend you to transfer them to a hard drive. This is a hard drive that I use and I actually have two of them. My husband has two as well. and. It is super easy to use and it's not that expensive. It's perfect for Mac and yeah, so I this is like my, my go-to. This is how I edit my videos. This is how I make things work since I do own a MacBook and MacBooks do not have that much memory. It would be impossible for me to edit videos and also have all my pictures because it would fill up super quick. With just one video, my laptop would be full in memory and it wouldn't function. So I highly, highly recommend um, hard drives, you guys. Must have. So I do have this little Polaroid camera. And all of my film, I purchased it from there as well. I get the pack that is 5440 I believe. So each pack comes up to be less than $10. If you get it at the store, usually it's like $20 a, pa a pack. And it's 10 of them. So I get 50 for, I believe... 40 bucks, 35, something like that. And I love them. The kids love this kind of pictures. I'm gonna do a close up of some pictures that I have taken with this camera so that you guys can see the quality of it and how adorable they are. Oh, here we have baby Athena. This was the last day of school for uh, Diego and Rosa. And then we also have right here Rosa's classmate. No, actually, it's Diego's classmate and also Diego's teacher. And this is something that I like having um, just because they're so cute and the kids are gonna love it looking back at them. And the best part is that it's a physical picture so you don't have to like have it on your phone. A lot of the times people misplace their phones or the memory gets so full that all of a sudden all the pictures disappear. That happened to me, you guys. It was devastating. I believe I had like 8,000 pictures and they were all gone because my phone was so like full in memory that it was not functioning and all of a sudden it just restarted itself and it just completely uh, shut down on me and by the time I turned it on I thought oh like nothing happened to it nope all of the pictures were gone it was so so sad like it I can't even like explain to you guys how sad it is <laughs> I'm sure you guys can relate if you if that has happened to you before you know exactly what I mean because it's memories that you remember and you remember how the picture looked but you you no longer have it it's kind of frustrating you guys well for me since I love pictures for me it's so frustrating I also get my nails from Amazon these are the kids nails and they're so pretty I stopped doing my nails at the salon I, I want to say about two years ago the reason why I did that is because I was never satisfied with my nails and I always ended up paying like $50 every time I went every two weeks and I felt like it was so much money that I stopped. I completely stopped and I started buying press on nails and to be honest they work perfectly, they last a long time and they look really cute you guys. The ones I have right now are press on as well. These are French tip you guys, they're so easy to put on. They last me about three days I want to say. But if I really take care of them, they can last four to five days. But usually I don't like to have them on for that long. I just like to switch them up. The price for um, each pack is $5. But if you do purchase more than, like I believe, three, it comes out to less money. Be sure to check out the description box if you're interested in any of the items that I'm showing you. Uh, we have two more items and I'm gonna wrap it up you guys because I know this video is getting very long <laughs> Since you all know I am a makeup artist. I haven't practiced um, Lately because I had my baby girl uh, Athena she's three months old, but 
what I like using when I do have clients and I have to like clean my brushes, disinfect them and all that, I like using this makeup brush cleanser. It is so affordable, it smells delicious. When I was pregnant, I literally wanted to drink this. <laughs> the smell is very satisfying. If you would like to see a video of how I wash my brushes, please let me know in the comments down below. I honestly have to wash them, so why not? I'll just make a video for you guys so that you guys get to see it. Because a lot of the times, people don't wash their brushes and they can hold a lot of bacteria and that can be very bad. I mean, if it's your own makeup, oh, it's all good, whatever. I mean, it's not good, but it's for yourself. But if you're wanting to be a makeup artist or or a freelancer you have to make sure that all your brushes are always clean you guys it's just sanitary and this is something that i highly highly recommend it's last but not least this is something that i have several of <laughs> um and they're actually waist trainers i do not wear them in public i only wear them at my house just because i want to better my posture and i also want to make sure my tummy kind of goes back to normal since i did have a baby three months ago and i find waist trainers to be helping a lot i recently started uh, putting them on at first i was struggling with them because i didn't have the right size but now i do and this is how the waist trainer looks you guys i highly recommend them I've been having this one for quite a while. This is like super small. I There's no way I fit in this. I don't even know how I used to fit in this. <laughs> Back in the days, I could literally put it all the way to that. Today, no way. This doesn't fit. <laughs> but I am not the type of person who would wear waist trainers out in public. I just personally don't think it looks flattering that's just my opinion if you want to wear them i recommend you doing it at home i think that's great because you're at home you're cleaning the house you're doing your mommy chores if you have a day off if you work and you feel comfortable wearing your waist trainer at work then go for it but me personally i just don't like it i just don't like the way it looks it makes me look very bulky and I just I don't feel comfortable so for me wearing it at home is much better than wearing it in public but I highly recommend them but that is it for today's video you guys let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item out of this whole haul what do you think about the shoes what do you think about my pillowcases I'm really excited for you guys to see my patio decor uh, be sure to like and subscribe and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload a video I almost forgot to mention this ropes that I purchased as well they are made out of cotton and they're bath ropes. I was looking everywhere for this. I mentioned to you guys in a previous video. They're really comfy. I haven't opened them yet. I haven't tried them, but I have felt them already and they're so comfy. The material is really, really nice. I always wanted to have um, a rope like this just because when I've been to the really nice hotels, they always have this really fancy bath ropes. And when I saw this, I was like, I want to have it for my bathroom. So I got myself one and I also got one for Evan. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, on a different video, I will do a bathroom tour so that you guys can see how they look. What I, my, what I envision of having this um, in my bathroom. I'm going to try it out for you guys really quick so that you guys get a better idea of how it looks. The one that I got for my husband is pretty big on me. But this is what you get. Super duper cute. I love it. I can see myself doing my makeup and taking pictures in it. Um, but that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!